guys, Jackson here again. Uh, how's everybody doing? I hope everyone's okay. Um, this is going to be my uh, fourth video, I believe, to start on my channel. Um, and I just want to clear this up right away. Um, I keep having to clear my throat in these videos. So I've decided to take on a bit of fluid. That's what I'm doing. So I'm having a Cobra. Now, some of you may realise that this video is taking place quite early in the morning in the UK. Now, I want to assure everyone out there watching that I'm not an alcoholic. I promise. Uh, I don't have a problem. Um, it's just I work nights, so this is really my winding down time. Um, so, yeah, that's why if you notice why I'm drinking, that I'm having a beer, and if you also realise it's early in the morning, I haven't got a drinking problem. I think we've all got a drinking problem somewhere in the morning, but just not too much, just a sip. Just a few moments, we can get over this, and we can get over that. And we can just get into it. I'm just going to crack on with the rest of the video. Now, this is going to be my review for Homefront. Now, I really don't know where to start with this. Now, this is again a game that I was discussing a lot with people on the uh, don't revi uh, <laughs> don't revive me bro dot com forums d r m b dot com um, and basically it, people going back and forth shall I buy it shan't I buy it and again it's um, one of those games that sort of it's sandwiched in between Black Ops wasn't what we hoped for and of course it's pretty pretty much well, it's over six months till Battlefield 3 comes out. So people are looking around, like me, for uh, things to fill up their gaming time with. Which is perfectly understandable because, you know, I need to fill the time somewhere. And uh, as I said in my previous video, I think it was the Killzone 3 video, the Bad Company 2 is, it's the cycle's winding down. Um, glad to see uh, people like Cars Number 7 and Coin are coming up with the team edit thing. And like I said, you should check out their uh, videos for that team medic because it's absolutely hilarious what they're doing with that. So you know that's just, but it, it's one example of showing of the way that the um, the cycle of the game is sort of winding down. That people have to try and invent new things, and perhaps the core gameplay um, is uh, getting a bit tired. You know, people are growing tired of like the core game back before Bad Company Two. But so I'm getting off track. So. Like most other people, I'm looking for something to fill the time back for the three. And to be honest, of all the things I've seen at home from, I still wasn't impressed, but I must be desperate or something. I think I am desperate. After Kill Zone 3, Larry Letdown 3, as I like to call it, which is sort of a, an English euphemism for uh, somebody who's always letting you down, uh, it. I still went ahead and uh, rented the game, um, despite all the negative things that people have been saying, um, and the fact that it was pretty much a, a scaled down battlefield graphics wise, um, I still thought I'd give it a go, because it's more my style of gameplay, tactical gameplay, I know they've thrown in the team deathmatch in there as well, but it's more my style of gameplay, I like the look of the ground control. I was really, really interested in the battle point system, um, which seemed to be a really good spin on things, really innovative. Innovative, yes. Innovative, 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 Russian. I am Russian, I got the vodka. Um, so, yeah, that looked really good, the battle points thing. However, even if them things were really good, the battle point system, the tactical gameplay, you know, hooking up with your friends and playing in the larger parties that you're not able to on ba Bad Company 2, you can't get in a game. Seriously, dedicated servers. Come on. Day one. Not too many problems finding the game. But the, the quality of the servers just seems to have gone down and down and down and down and down. And I don't want to bash games. I really don't. But after Killzone 3, I'm so sceptical uh, skeptical 
about anything that's going to come out this year. I really am. Dedicated servers, right? Now, I'm not a big tech whiz. Um, I'll probably look at somebody like uh, Nick, GT7570B, for maybe a bit more technical detail on what dedicated servers means. But I take it that means that um, matchmaking should be easier. You get into games quicker. There's no lag. Um, in fact, I've seen on Jamie E. Hill's his, um, videos on Homefront that even with a one-bar connection, he still has no lag. I can't even get in a bloody game, let alone have a one-bar bloody connection on it, or a red-bar connection. I can't even get in a game. I literally sat there, and I'm, I'm, and I'm please believe me, because I don't want to bash games, please believe me. I actually sat there for just under 45 minutes, could not get into a single ground control game. Team Deathmatch, straight in there. But I don't want to play that. I don't want to... <coughs> I don't want to play that. I'm an objective-based player. I've just come from Bad Company 2. I'm looking for another game. I see this ground control thing. I think that can objective-based gameplay combined with the battle point system really appealed to me. <coughs> Excuse me. But I can't get in a game. So I've got to about level 10 with all my XP. And... Uh, that's about as far as I've got with it, and to be on to be honest, it's really disappointing. When you actually can get in a game, I've got to say, the servers really come to fruition there. If you like your shooting spot on, and I mean laser guided, as in you nail, you find the target, you find your target, you aim your sights, you fire, they die. That that aspect is really good. Um. The maps in general are okay. There's there's a couple of iffy ones, but like I said, the urban environment and the fact that there's like well-known landmarks in there, especially if you're from America, there's like White Castle, the uh, fast food restaurant, or a Hooters, which is the uh, Cheddar Bar. Um, all nice ladies in there, but there's none in there in the game. I presume they've all like clocked off from work or something, and then the wars just happened, or the KPA, or the, the Koreans have gotten you know, shimmying their tushies at the base. Um, I mean, the maps, yeah, they're, they're really good. The guns, they're okay. There's not a, there's not a plethora of guns, really. Uh, maybe that's something they'll bring in DLC. I think there's four assault rifles, a couple of SMGs, a couple of LMGs, a couple of sniper rifles. Um, but the, uh, the, the perk system and the way the, um, you assign, assign the perks is quite interesting. Basically, when you start out, you get five points to assign your perks, and there's a whole list of perks. I mean, there's just there's loads, and they've, and they've really done quite a lot of work into getting these perks quite balanced. And I would have to say, when it's when you're playing it, when you can actually get in the game, it is actually one of the most balanced FPSs you will actually play. I promise you, it is really really balanced, really really good that in that way. So you get five. Um, Five points to allocate your perks, and each perk is uh, graded from one, two, and three points. So you can have five one-point perks, or two two-point perks, and a one-point perk, or a three-point perk, and a two-point perk, and deep, 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 like that. So you can really mix the perks up. You can really make your classes specialised, and they they actually mean something. The perks. There's no. There's no one that's um, overpowered that I can see really. Um, what else? The kill streaks. Uh, <laughs> now, the one the one bad aspect about the kill streaks is people saving their battle points. Um, obviously, it, uh, I'm sh sure I heard this on the the R&B podcast, the Di Revive Me Bro podcast. I think it was either Corn or Supermite was saying. I can't remember now. Uh, digress. Um, basically, people saving up their points just so they can get the attack helicopter when they when they respawn. They can you can ju you can um, instead of just spawning as infantry on the, on your little legs like that, you can actually get in a vehicle or a chopper. Oh, like that. Um, and people are just saving up the points to the point where there's, you know, there can be multiple, multiple vehicles on the map, which isn't just a huge problem, except if they're helicopters, because the helicopters are absolute beasts. 
they're absolutely unbelievable and hard to take them on. But obviously, this sort of system would really come into play if you had a full party. I mean, the uh, on, on again on that podcast, I think it was Supermite was saying that if you you know you could have someone running the role of the UAV, and they could just keep running the UAV and spot spot people for members of your party. And then as I'm saying it, actually as I'm saying it to you guys now in my head, that just sounds brilliant. But here's the other problem. Not only is the matchmaking completely kaputski, Russian again, the party system is also absolute... Oh, God. It... The, the, why don't they test these things with a beta? Seriously, they could iron out all this. They could have such a good game on day one release. But seriously, if I'd have bought this, if I'd have actually paid money for this game, I would have seriously thought about asking for my money back because the party system is is atrocious. You s- it splits you up. People don't make it in. You back out. You reform your party. You go in again. You get split up again, and it just goes round and round the houses, and it really does just do you nothing. So that's ho- that's what I was saying about home. I'm not even going to mention the campaign. The campaign just isn't even worth wasting my breath on. But I'm going to anyway. The campaign is short. So that's my uh, review for Homefront. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. There's plenty more to come from me. Um, I might be doing another couple of videos today. I'm not sure yet. Um, I've got a couple of ideas, but I'm still waiting to see whether um, whether I'm going to do them or not, whether I'm going to... Do a bit more digging and then uh, I'll bring it to you in the next couple of days. But for now, this is Joe and I'll see you guys later.